Hello, Roy Hill with Brownells. As laws across America change, more people than ever are thinking about concealed carry and personal protection. It's real easy to start thinking about what kind of gun am I going to carry? What caliber? What kind of ammo do I need? Something that gets overlooked sometimes is, well, how the heck are you going to carry that gun? Today we have Matt Jaquees with Victory First. Matt's a very well-known and respected personal protection instructor, and he's here to tell us about these Vertex bags, which have some unique features that make them really, really nice as alternative ways to carry a gun. Howdy, Matt. Hi. Tell us what's going on with these Vertex bags. Absolutely. Um, thanks for having me. Um, we are, uh, we're we're going to dig right into these bags, and we're going to talk about the reasons why these bags are probably, in my opinion, some of the best bags that are out there for, for off the body carry and, and EDC, if you will. Uh, this all kind of started about th three years ago, somewhere in there, Vertex reached out to me shortly after I started my company and said, hey, with your, with your experience and your background, um, undercover work, um, executive protection stuff, things like that, uh, can, can you come out and kind of give us a hand on, on, on what we're doing? So when we went out, we actually stopped completely erased everything and said, hey, instead of building a bag like everybody else does and say, hey, we're, you, you know, if you wanted to, you could put a gun in here, you could hide a gun in here. It was, let's figure out where we want to carry the gun, how we want to carry it, how we're going to deploy it, and then we'll build a bag around it. And that's one of the things that really sets Vertex bags apart is that, as you said, they're designed from the inside out. You thought about how am I going to carry the gun first before you ever start thinking about the bag itself. So these are designed around carrying a firearm every single day. Correct. Yep, and it's, it, it doesn't matter if you carry appendix, if you carry strong side, um, all of these things, there's, there's something for everybody, and it, there's a bag that will fit whatever situation or lifestyle you're living in. And it, it may be one bag for a certain application and one for the other, but it's, it's just like everyday carry. If you're going to commit to that, then there's, there's things you're going to have to get into. And so you've got bags in several <laughs> different styles, as you said, for several different situations or, or different lifestyles or the, what people are doing from day to day. One of the things I've noticed is these bags don't really look like gun bags. Right. Like I said, we completely wiped the slate clean and started over and let's, let's get away from a thousand D cordura. Let's get away from uh, Molly and Velcro and all these things that are, are tagged by bad guys now that look and say, well, you know, that guy's a cop or he's a gun carrying guy or he's mm -hmm. a former mill guy mm -hmm. and he's a gun guy. So we wanted to get away from being pinned as a gun guy. So let's, let's try and hide the gun in plain sight. These are very much designed specifically, purposefully to carry guns, but they're de also designed to not draw attention and not look like gun bags. We've got this little guy over here. I think I think you guys call this one the, the satchel. Correct. Yeah, yep. Tell me about the satchel. Okay, so the satchel is the is the smallest of, of the bags, and we're we're now rolling out the uh, the I guess you would say the Gen 3 bags that were just released last year at Shot Show. Uh, the satchel is we dig through across the, the bag line, you're gonna see that most of them have very similar features. There are things that are gonna translate from the satchel to, to the rest of the bag line. Got the same theory, the same design idea right. at work in all the bags. Correct. Okay. So we have uh, the, the one thing that when you look at this, you'll see that it's, a, it's kind of got this, this grid style pattern. That's a 22310 Cordura. So that does a couple things for us. One, it doesn't give that, that heavy um, nylon look, but it also makes it look more like a school bag or an everyday carry kind of bag that you would get from, you know, any kind of chain department store. Right. And then try and hide the gun. So uh, it breaks that up. The the you'll notice that there's no molly on the outside of it. There's a little bit of Velcro that's down here, but that's for the beaver tail that that we can get into in here a little bit. Um, so the the things that you'll notice on all of these bags is the EDC pull tab. It's the same all the way across all the bags except for the range bag because this is your signifier that's going to tell you where your, your personal protection items are. And that's how you, you open the bag to instantly get access to your concealed carry firearm. Correct. Um, this was the, it's the, the EDC pull tab feels like nothing else on any of the other bags, so it doesn't matter if it's dark, rainy, cold, wet, doesn't matter. If you're reaching around and you feel that, um, you instantly it, know what you got. You know exactly where it is and you know what to get into. And so it's the same pull tab on all the bags. So when you train or learn one way to get to a gun with one of these bags, it's going to be the exact same method every single time. That's correct. And the, and the one thing that a lot of guys don't understand and is lost because there's uh, it's you, you've up until now, you've kind of been left on your own to kind of figure it out. And there's there's uh, training companies out there that have, have uh, come up with different ways of doing it. But it's, it's one of those things where pre-staging that tab is extremely important. Mm -hmm. So it's... Uh, economy of motion. So when I bring the bag around in front of me or I, I get ready to present the handgun, that it is a one swift motion instead of, uh, you know, back and forth and doing all these other things. It's not, it's not unlocking a lock. It's a pull the tab open and, and present the handgun. 
Okay. So go ahead and open up the bag and, and let's take a look at some of the features uh, that really make this thing really ideally suited as a way to carry a gun. Sure. So the in the top we have a, a small admin pouch. So this is something you can stick your, your car keys in, things like that. That's a, a, a simple in and out kind of deal. In the front we have what's called the, the we call it the beaver tail. So this does a couple of things for us. Uh, as you can see now this exposes a molly and micro velcro wall. So anybody who wants that Velcro look, they want to be able to do any of that kind of stuff with uh, patches or, or hanging uh, other first aid stuff on their tourniquets or anything like that mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. molly attachments or pals. Mm -hmm. Now you can use that wall. You've also got, um, you were talking earlier about these, these clips. And this, this is just one of the uh, examples of real close attention to detail on these bags. Go ahead and talk about these G clips because I, I thought these were really cool. Sure. The, these are aluminum G hooks. So now the, the problem that, a lot of folks have had, I've, I've, I couldn't tell you how many bags that are in the garage or in the basement that have broken buckles on them and stuff like that. So, so it's cheap plastic and you step on it or get shut in the car door and it's just done. Right. So it's, uh, you know, it's, I slam in the, in the tailgate of the truck and so now it's broken. But these aluminum G hooks now are, uh, allow you to tie this billow, this beaver tail in. So if you've got something, uh, you know, a rain jacket, something like that, that's what you want to tie it on the outside so it doesn't ruin stuff on the inside. These actually tie into the outside of the bag but they're very durable. It's uh, it's something you're never going to have to replace. And it just forms a little pouch that you can just reach in there. It still sort of covers up the molly if you don't want to show that to the world, but it allows you to have a useful storage space right here. Sure. And it's it's something if you're um, you know, you're 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 out on out in the town, you're, you know, out sightseeing or something else and it's cool and warm, you got a windbreak or something like that and it starts to get warm throughout the day. Roll it up, stick it in here and then and now it, now it, you actually just tie it into the side of the bag and it holds it inside that beaver tail. Okay. Uh, how about the compartment <coughs> specifically for the gun? Okay. So as we start moving around towards the back, this has a couple of things on it. It has zipper stops. So we can defeat the zipper stops, but the, the actual portion of the bag that you would get into for your concealed carry, again, the EDC pull tab, as you open that up, that exposes a, a large compartment that is filled with micro velcro on both sides. So that's where you would take uh, the belt adapter panel or some of the uh, other tactigami that you can use for a holster and secure that inside at the angle and the depth that you want and that's what's going to allow you to get in and, and obtain that firearm. So it'll keep the gun at a certain angle in the same position so it's not just kind of flopping around in there as you carry the bag. It's always going to be in exactly the same spot whenever you reach in there for it. Correct. And it, and it all comes down to, uh, again, economy of motion and, and it being in the same spot. So if I'm going to draw this from uh, the appendix carry, if I bring this around in front of me, it's going to be, I can actually set it up doing dry runs that it's the same the same angle and the everything. Same angle. So if, if you carry appendix carry, you can set the gun up in the bag at the same angle and almost exactly the same height as you would as you were appendix carry. And does that work with other carry positions too, like on the hip? So it's uh, again the the benefit of uh, the webbing, which is fully adjustable, and we'll talk about that here in just a second. But it's if it's an appendix carry motion, it's going to be center line of my body, and I'll be able to carry it in that fashion. Now, if I'm a strong side guy, three, four o'clock, as I bring it around, maybe I don't come fully around to the appendix carry, but it's it's in that three o'clock spot. So it's uh, very versatile. The only thing you're not going to be able to really control is. Um, when, when things are really moving and you know that you need to get to your defensive equipment, it's you're almost going to probably come all the way around. Yeah, front. you're going to yeah. default to an appendix carry motion. Right. And I'm, I'm noticing that EDC pull tab, man, that thing is fast. You just grab it and just whip in the, in the, in the bags open and ready to go. Yeah, it's a, it, it is a, it almost has a rubber feel to it. Um, it's very pliable and, it, and again, it feels like nothing else uh, on the rest of the bag. So it's a, it's an immediate identifier to, that it, that's where my defensive equipment is. So it's big, it's easy to grab, and you know exactly what it is as soon as you touch it. Sure. Now, these things, even though they are purposely designed to carry guns, they've got a lot of other just great features just for practical everyday use. Sure. So the, the, the other thing that we have with the EDC pull tab is not only does it tell us where our defensive equipment is, but in the the day-to-day -day stuff that you're going to use this bag for, it also tells me that if I don't open this up, then I'm not going to expose my handgun to the cashier at, at the store or what have you. But I can also open this up and be in the living portion of the bag, which is going to open up a, a large storage compartment. It's got micro Velcro and all sorts of admin pouches that are on it. Uh, there's a spot in here where you can secure a laptop or a, uh, a small laptop or a tablet. 
There's so mesh pocket. Keep a small computer. It's actually designed for a small computer to go in there. A yeah, tablet. Absolutely. A tablet, uh, iPad, things like that. Yeah. Any of that stuff that uh, is so common in our day to day lives. So now it can all be uh, right here. Mesh pockets that are, are zipper lined so you can see what's in it. There's a another pocket that's a little bit deeper than is micro Velcro so you can actually secure some stuff and, mm -hmm. and hide it from even prying eyes as you're at the checkout counter, things like that at the store. Anything you would carry on an everyday basis, loose change, wallet, keys, whatever, chapstick, you can put it right there in the back. Sure. And, and you you can use it as, I've seen them a couple of times where people have actually used them for, for diaper bags. For, like, 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 like your disguised uh, right, faux right. diaper bag, right? Yep. So it's, you know, a mom can still have a, a handgun in there, but it's not uh, it's it's not something where everybody's going to see it, and it's obviously out of the way from the kids, and she's going to have control of it. So uh, you can use it, and it's uh, it's a very very useful bag in that manner. Well, I, I use a, a bigger laptop for work quite a bit. Uh, what do you have for somebody like me who has to tote around a laptop? We there is a uh, another bag that's called the Courier that's just a little bit larger than this. It's going to carry your laptop. A lot of the same features that are built into this bag are built into the Courier. Um, so if you're uh, maybe you've got twins or triplets, don't want to use a small bag for a diaper bag. You need more diapers and more formula. So the, the courier will hold that large laptop. It'll hold more stuff. It just gives you um, a lot more volume to be able to stuff that, that, that item, those items in it that you're going to need. And, and as you've been saying, all the bags, all the way across the line, they're all built with the same theory. They're all, they all have the same design features, and they all have the EDC tab. So if, if I'm not really a satchel or a courier bag guy, what if I like backpacks? What, what do you got for somebody who likes backpacks? 